Okay, this is Jackie and Ashley. We're back in action and we want to take you to the peak weeks with goals, plans, and actions. By the way, just so you know, we are truly in this world of America, 47 days away from Christmas. So we want to get you up and ready on what do you do to maximize this business. So as we take us through this workshop or fun shop of ideas today, it really is hurry, hurry, shopping time is here. People are shopping, they're shopping a little bit each week and they will start to peak by the end of this month. So you don't have time to wait and make up something grandioso. It's time to go. So what you wanna do is what Becky Launder, our trainer over in Jaffra uh, Beauty Insiders, she just did her third month of training today. Please go back and watch them again and again and again. They're also in Jaffra Biz. And she's teaching us macro, uh, micro and mega sales strategies. You must have your list and know what you're doing to get enough people in front of you to get your sales goal, your booking goals, and your sponsoring goals. So she gives you that list and you must have three strategies. You can't do all of them. So what we're going to do is take you through some fast ideas, okay? And I mean fast. You just got to pick what sticks with you. So number your paper one through 10. When an idea pops up on what you can do to grow your sales and grow your team, write it down. And at the end, you're going to focus on three. You can circle three before you walk away tonight, okay? So she gives us a whole lot of ideas, drop and shop, personal shopping, visits and appointments, follow-up, daily selling, in-home parties, online parties, vendor parties, pop-up tables, inventory sales, fundraisers, bulk orders. I think we've heard many of these tonight. So we want to go on and go a little more. These are some of those fast things that Becky Launder had, all right? She had things called a turkey trot, Black Friday crazy, online parties and text parties. You heard Ashley talk about that as well. She did during this month, she talked about gift bundling. You heard Marianne talking about doing that. Pop-up events, that's a pop-up event at a restaurant that Marianne talked about. Shopping events, okay? That is, again, similar to um, hosting your own parties or hosting some Girls Night Out Shopping, 12 Days of Christmas. I know Helen has talked about that at some of our um, meetings that we've had. Buy one, give one. Could be a kit, could be a product. Buy now, save later. And we got PayPal coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. But again, hey Jackie, it's like a layaway plan. Yes. Uh, Debbie has her hand up. Oh, she's saying no, never mind. I just see it up on there. So I okay, didn't want gotcha. it to get mad. <laughs> no worries, no worries. All right. If you do have a question, pop it in the chat and then I'll come back to Ashley for it. So thank you anyway for that. Okay. <laughs> so here we go, guys. It's the best season. 70 to 73% of our sales happen in the next four to eight weeks. Not a kidder. So let's look at these holidays. Look at November alone. Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. That's all that week of Thanksgiving. Then that week ends and it goes right to what they now call in the retail world, Sales Sunday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. OMG, are you kidding me? You have six of the biggest shopping days, 70 to 73% of the sales of the holiday is what I meant to say, happen on these six days. That's why you got to get going now and you got to have plans for this. So you can do them all. You can pick what you want. So this is your business to e-tail and retail it. So I'm going to give you a whole plethora of even more. This came from Melanie Moore. She said, create those product bundles, maybe make teachers packages, the gardener package. Don't just do product by prices. Think of that shopping list that Jaffa has and you just go in and make those gift ideas. Again, for Giving Tuesday, do you and your team want to pick a cause and you all give on Giving Tuesday from your proceeds of your sales? There's BOGO, buy one, give one, or buy one, get one. One for them, one for you. Spend X amount of dollars, get X amount of dollars off. Nancy just shared you can't go to the clearance table unless you buy out of the new catalog. I love that. Give them a goal. They follow what you do to get more. Free gift with any purchase. Pick a dollar amount and add something to it if you have giftables that you're getting at low price. Always have gift certificates. And in every order that is given as a gift, you put a gift certificate for a complimentary facial 
virtual makeover or spa treatment of their choice. And it expires by January 30th or January 15th. So when gifts go out, get something else from that person getting the gift, which is giving them the gift of a treatment and maybe $10 off their next $50 purchase. So do not just give the gift, give the gift with something that goes on into the new year, okay? And remember, the two best things is it's a gig economy. People need something to get in very quickly to make some fast cash to save a lot of money. So do you have take a looks on your books? You can do parties all day long, tabletops, but where are you going to invite them to come take a quick look? Just set up 15 minutes, go to Starbucks, get on Zoom, but you really want to have take a looks very quickly so that you and your team can invite people so they earn the dream factory and get ready for Hawaii like Marianne. Here's some more really cool words that are used in the nation during this month. Hi, I need some holiday helpers. We're willing to help people shop. That's kind of like maybe you heard of the ghost hostess of the past. No, no, no. These are holiday helpers. They basically text out your brochure. They gather some orders. They help people shop and save. You can do a Facebook event. You can do a text party. You can do an email. You can give them books to take to the office with a basket with a couple of products. And they're your holiday helpers. They're helping others shop and they're helping you. You can also do a better than Black Friday sale. Don't wait till Black Friday. Do something now. You can do what they call the turkey trot or the gobble gobble, okay? Gobbling up the savings, gobbling up the opportunities. You can do the hostess with the mostest party kit. Again, she's like a catalog party and you have a little contest out of five hostesses and you give a grand giveaway basket. Again, small business Saturday and sale Sunday. Great days for open houses, by the way. They're going out. Why not do a stop at your place or partner up with a local business that you like and get a tabletop in those businesses during their small business Saturday. And we're celebrating two in one small business. And then just something kind of fun. Talk turkey to me, man. Let's talk about a $10 promo um, this week only, today only. And it could be a free kit, could be, you know, with a 50% order, whatever that is. So let me go find my host out here. So Ashley, holy buckets, there's a lot of things. You're new here. You're getting yourself going. What jumps out at you that sounds exciting? That talk turkey to me. I was just putting in the chat. I'm like, that's going to be my jam this month. I'm stealing it. <laughs> really, you can do talk turkey. So my talk, you know, turkey talk of the week is, right? So you can change yeah. the opportunity to, you know, sales. So I love it. So out there in the chat, if you've got something you're going to do using these words, Put it in the chat so Ashley can come back and share so that we can save a little time, but we want to just hear what you're going to do during this incredible 73% of the sales happen during those six days and all the things we can do this month. So put that out there in the chat. I hope that warms you up to all that can happen. Oh, shoot. I even have more. Oh, my God. There's no shoot here, but there's more. There is the friends and family sale. I've heard this a lot. Coles does it, right? So come and everybody bring family and friends. You can always do the cause. We talked about that. You got a 24. I don't know if I need too much more. Um, you can do retrogressive. What that means is you can go, if you shop early from eight to nine o'clock, you would get, you know, 25% off. Nine to 10, 20%, 10 to 11, uh, 15%, whatever. Okay. So that's how, what that is. It's a retrogressive. So it starts high and gets less every hour. Okay. They do that sometimes with showers and birthday parties. You can do it with your sales. Okay. And again, you could do this, buy this offer and give yourself a gift certificate to be able to use in December, buy and get. So that's again, something kind of fun. All right. So the other thing is, again, we gave you a lot of ideas. So you might've heard some, you might've been writing fast because I'm talking fast like Becky Launder, but guess what? You can't do more then three, it's too much, just like everybody's focused on things that work for them. So what are your top three you heard out of all those lists? Okay. So again, pick your three, write them down. If we talk too fast, you can listen to the recording. Okay. And you'll have the slides <laughs> uh, posted later tonight. Okay. Now I do want to pause and we're going to do one training specific one tonight. This is about open houses. Okay. So Open houses are one of the best ways to present your products and the opportunity 
to a lot of people at the same time. And girlfriends love to shop holiday together. They don't, I wouldn't go to the mall by myself. I love to go with my friends and, or best friend and just do a shopping day or my daughter. So they tend to do things with friends. So open houses do work and you can just set up your house and do it every Saturday or one night during the week and a Saturday. Set up an area of your home and have it done. You can do an open house at a coffee shop in the back room of Panera at an office. So they don't even have to always be at your house. It's just a place that opens their door for people to come stop and shop, just like a kiosk. So I'm just going to ask these very quick. So all I want to hear from anyone out there is if you've already had an open house this year, what have your results been? How much did you sell? Did you sponsor? Did you book anything? Okay. Anyone who had an open house already? Terrell. Cool. Tell us what happened. Ooh, um, it was this past weekend and um, I had about oh, maybe a dozen people that came over the course of the two days. Sales were right at $1,900 and they ranged from $23 up to $550. So it just ran the whole gamut. And um, the main thing, if you're going to do it is to not limit yourself so what's shown in the brochure, I sold lots of the spa products that are not featured this month. Um, and the biggest seller of all was that power down mist. Because people are feeling hairy, they're feeling stressed. And just to be able to give someone a lavender spray that they can use in multiple ways was just ended up being the ideal gift for people to get. So I, I just sold tons of those and the other power down products as well. So um, you've got to follow up with people. You've got to you know send it out electronically and then follow up with phone calls to get the people there. And um, there are several people who said they were going to come that didn't. So we're having a redo, if you will, both Thursday night and Saturday afternoon, just real quick times for people to stop back by. So reach out to do that. So it's it was great. It was a good time. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Anyone <laughs> else have a share on open house results? Okay. All right. Next. I know that it's also a time of gratitude and businesses are looking to thank their customers, okay? <clears throat> so doing the pop-up tabletops like Mary Ann at restaurants, I wanted Shafika to just share very quickly. She does customer appreciation tabletops partnered with businesses. Shafika, tell us your success over the weekend of your customer appreciation, please. Okay, it was a um, boutique and it was my second time being there. They actually contacted me and um, we had it like from one, I think the hours were from one to seven. People were coming in. Um, I went on Canva. I offered to make a flyer for the, um, for, for the boutique and they thought that was great. So I, I, I um, created the flyer for them and sent it to them. They sent it out to their email list over 2000 people. And uh, she posted it on her um, Facebook um, page as well. So um, a lot of people came in and out. I had, I got about 12 new leads, booked three parties um, to schedule two opportunity um, um, interviews that are, that are this week. Um, I had a, a man, and, and I had men and, and women. And one thing you want to do is, you know, grab men, they come and they're somewhat hesitant at first, did a hand massage. But once they, once they sit down, the first man that came, I did his hand massage and he went around the whole boutique telling everybody to look at his hands here and stuff. And he just couldn't believe they were. And he brought something right there. So sales are about 360 or uh, 70, $70 here. And the other man that came by that had his hand massage, he has a um, business. So he booked me to do all of his employee gifts and make something for his wife as well, a basket here. So, and they wanted me to come back in December. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. You know, yes. it's great to have sales. The best part is when you have future bookings. 
Okay. So I love hearing that you had three bookings, you have potential consultants, and this business just keeps saying, come on back, just like you're hearing from those restaurants. So congratulations on your success. That's fantastic. So um, I want to keep us rolling. I see Tucky out here. Ashley, aren't you connected to Miss Tucky? Well, yeah. Ashley's getting ready, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am. No, sorry, Miss <laughs> Ashley Barrett. Are you and, and Tucky connected as well? We're on the same team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I see Tucky out there. I'm trying to see who else is here on your team, Miss Ashley Bell as well. And Ashley Beard. It's just great to see your team here as well. So just a growing district, Jillian, right? So yeah. anyway, so I'm just, I, I looked down, I was like, oh, there's such a yeah. here. So, had to pause. Okay, let's take it on. So thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations to Cheryl, as well as to Shafika. And now let's go to some steps for your open house. Okay. These are how to guarantee success. You heard Cheryl with some of her tips. Three key things is again, before, during, and after, right? So before, if you can work with the team, choose the location, set the time um, and the duration. Even Nancy was doing that with her party. Define who's going to do what, collaborate efforts, and again, your drawings and your gifts you're going to give away. Even if you're partnering with the business, do they want to give away things? What time should we do this? So whether it's business partnership, whether it's you at your home by yourself or with the team, create a warm environment and make your guests feel welcome. If you don't have other consultants doing it with you, make sure you grab some family, some friends, or even some clients to act as your Jaffa team so that you can visit and have time to get to know your guests. So again, music, decorations, dollar stores are great in today's world, light refreshments and gifts for every guest attending. Here's just a couple of extra tips, okay? We've been doing this on our holiday tour. A holiday tour doesn't work without everybody working at table. So I don't do presentations. So we want people to have places to try things and we do tabletops and we give out flyers. So making table signs that show the kit, show the packs, show your hostess opportunities, have some of the hostess products, ask me how to get these free or a shopping spree or our deepest discounts. Again, tabletops and signs really work. Handing out flyers at our, our events, we do the holiday list, we do the packs, we do the kits. Again, you can do things such as $10 off any um, with a 50%, sorry, I can't even talk. $10 off a $50 order. That's because my typing's wrong. $10 off any $50 order or $10 with a, a free $10 kit with a 50% order. So giving them coupons when they come in, giving them opportunities. On the back of any flyer, or maybe you create something fun like a gift box, you write, who do you know that? And they turn in names and they get a gift when they fill out three or five names on a referral slip of someone they know who would love beauty, who would love a personal uh, shopping consultant, or the opportunity to open an account and earn. When you do 10 cards in front of your product, so they don't have to find it in the book, make it easy. Make your tent cards with three prices. This is the client price, the hostess price, and the consultant price. So keeping prices in front of people with the three prices, at the end, it makes sense when you go to say, before I do your order, do you want the client price today, the hostess price, because five items are on your hostess um, program, or the consultant price, okay? Then during your open house, always again with the music, I love this, the hand treatments. They're all doing at the tabletops. Um, again, you could have a station. If you could train a teenager or college student, they could be doing virtual makeovers and virtual skin consults for you. So you don't have to do everything. Get some elves and some helpers. Give them free Jaffa that day um, in a gift certificate if they come help you. I will tell you those virtual situations, uh, I can't talk, the virtual apps are phenomenal. They really, really are. Have the opportunity presentation going on, the opportunity video or pause and tell a story if it's like a party. Um, again, keep things going about opportunity, booking and selling. Don't just go and sell. So again, have your closing to invite them to buy, book, begin and give referrals for a bonus gift. 
keep refreshments light and very simple. You don't want to spend your whole day cooking and no one shows up. Okay. So <laughs> been there, done that myself. So remember, I heard uh, Cheryl talking about, um, I think it was Cheryl. No, Nancy, excuse me. She has different colored placemats for the different departments. I love that. You have now five different departments, right? So making sure they see that with some of your feature items and the prices, and maybe even a little note card that says who this makes a great gift for. So make it easy to shop with you. Don't make them think. I love featuring our premium ingredients. This is in our monthly joy meeting, by the way, that you can find these slides. They're beautiful. And featuring maybe putting out some honey in a bowl, uh, setting out some papaya, um, just things that make them realize that we are premium products with premium ingredients and who's ever premium on your shopping list, we got it. We're going to give them the best with Jaffra. So really, again, as you talk about the opportunity, whether you're doing a party, a tabletop, um, you're doing a presentation, remember to keep it in just a few short words. We're just experienced about beauty and direct sales since 1956, black and white Feature your favorite products. Um, you know, we love to give you favorite products at a special price. Today, the training from Becky Launder was extraordinary. If you don't know how to add your story to your opportunity and keep it short and sweet, she did it fabulously. She taught you how to meet people through direct messenger and more. I know many of you do that. I know Diana's done a great training on that. Rosa Silva taught us how to business and she became one of the fastest growing directors back then by direct messaging people. Talk about how we keep the minimal investment to get started that guess what you own the business it's your business it's your time and it's your income choice and that we have professionals to help you along the way. So we have a community and we have to support you. When you do your open houses make your tables fun. In October last month, when I was even on the road, we followed the brochure like Nancy did the same themes in the brochure. It was red, black, and gold. So we were at the dollar store, we went on Amazon, and every table had red, black, and gold. If I'm in your cities and you're working a table, even if you want to dress in the color themes, which we did last month, we're following the cover of the November brochure, which now is silver and these beautiful kind of pastel bold colors from fuchsia to teal to purple. So I had to have everything different at my tables. So you can see November has a whole new look to it. Here's a sneak peek at the colors coming for December. So you could have open houses every month because we change our theme, we change our products. You're seeing some pink, you're seeing a little bit of orange and pink and yellow. Um, and again, string lights, a little bit of purple in there. So keeping everything light and matching your brochure, which I love that Nancy had talked about. A couple of tips. The reason you do an open house is that yes, you see your clients, but they bring friends. Guests are the key to any success. So try this. Get $10 free when you RSVP and attend. Get a $10 shopping spree for each friend you bring. I love a rhyme. You know I'm a dork. Free and spree, attend and friend. So that means if I brought three friends, I could get $30 in a shopping spree or from my $30 gift basket if you want to get rid of inventory. Make this the biggest deal. I don't care if it's online or in person. You've got to get a people coming with friends. That's like a hostess if she brings three friends. And then have three bonus basket baskets at closeout. Yes, three. So I don't care if there's samples, travel sets, small cost items, a roll-up gift certificate for five bucks, a Starbucks card for all that, that purpose. But it's this, thank you for ordering, take a gift from my basket. Larger gift, it gets better with better things. Get a bigger gift, okay, something a little better for um, when you thank them for booking. And your baskets say this, and the largest gift, ooh, baby, is when they join Jaffra that day. So when they buy, they book, begin, that's what you use your wonderful gift baskets for at your concierge checkout, okay? So that's what retailers do. That's what you can do. So again, keeping it fun. Let me give you some tips. You got to get the black jacket for gosh sakes. Earn it on day one. I'm going to be so sick of this jacket. I'm going to be puppy for the next seven like events I'm at. I will be sick of it, but I'm not taking it off because this is my Jaffa brand. So if you're here, 
earn this today, earn this tomorrow and get it in your order and get it fast. Make sure you have that. You've got your bling on. I Ashley loved everything sparkly. So we chose that theme to get a little sparkly tonight. It's beautiful. Choose your theme. Wear your Jaffer pins. Put a $10 bill under your pen to talk about the opportunity and their coupon they get when they come. All things you're wearing and smelling and using is Jaffra. Invite your consultants and clients and guests to the open house. Not just your clients, but make sure you invite your consultants and everybody in your address book. If you have new unused products, take them with you to sell on the spot like Nancy talked about her clearance table. Have a stocking stuffer section. Print the Jaffra holiday shopping list. We're going to show you that really quick. And have an invite to your next party. Look what Nancy did. Great. Come next month. Here's the date and time. So everything you do is see you at the next thing I'm hosting. Open house, event, party, gathering, a take a look. And include a coupon for next month's order. Okay? And include that again in every gift that they buy. A percentage, a dollar amount or turn it in for a free sample with your order. When the party's over, the yeah, open house is over, do follow up. And this could be an open house at a hostess's house. Be sure again, put a gift certificate in every gift for a new you facial or a coupon. And again, follow up with those that joined to get them off to a fast start, with those that said they would think about it, with those that made a purchase, and with those that booked. You need to follow up with people within three days and three ways. Text, call, email. Three ways, three days. Tell them you're going. So they expect your call and don't avoid you. Let them know you're going to get back to them in the next three days. Okay. And so that's your follow up. Thank them and just see if there's anything else that they needed or anyone else they thought about. What do we have to help you? You have an open house guest list in Jaffra Biz right there to help you plan who they're inviting, whether it's for you or your hostess. It's a holiday helper. We have invitations ready to go, so you don't have to create if you don't want to. We have a holiday wish list. We use this at every one of our, our holiday parties in the nation, and we give a gift to the brokest in the audience. That is, the person who has the most names on the list is going to be the brokest, and I always give them a sympathy gift. It's kind of fun. And then we mentioned, of course, the best way you don't have to be broke is to open your account, okay? So you're helping them as they go to each table to fill out their, their wish list while they're shopping. So again, with types of products that you want to spotlight, what's hot and trendy? These are just the hot and trendy. Of course, my dear Ashley loved all things sparkly and glamour and beauty. So we picked some of those special products, such as the all over body sprays with glitter, sweet scents with an enchanting glow. This is a hot hit right now. Okay. You're going to also see for maybe a little younger, but I got to tell you all my friends who are near 60 all loved this. They love the eyeshadow colors. It looks fun and springy. They're sick of, you know, sometimes always being black and gold and red <laughs> for Christmas. And they love these brushes. They're so gosh darn cute. So again, why not? Don't worry about what age it attracts. Remember, it's a lipstick economy. Everybody is buying lipsticks. I sat with Gina O'Neill at I don't know how many tabletops this summer, and I'm not kidding. Everybody bought lipsticks no matter what because it's a lipstick economy. We have two, so make sure they're playing. They're sampling from the glossy to the matte. It's great stocking stuffers. And the new rage this season is the glow. Right, Ash? Get that glow on. So, <laughs> yes. yes. It's all about multi-use, multi-colors, high pigmentation. Um, what was it that you're obsessed with, Ash? Oh, my goodness. I'm obsessed. The new Jaffa Royal color, like the sticks, oh. the blush sticks that they did. I think it's like Desert Jasper or Jasper Desert, one of the two. But that's what I use for my contour. And I am like in love. It's just so creamy, blends so nice. I'm like, yes, I can't wait. And I think that's what women want right now. They really are looking for fast, easy application that they do the job, right? But we yeah. don't want to spend an hour in the mirror anymore. We don't, we're done, right? But we want to get up and go. And you want to move that transition from daytime to nighttime with concealers, contours, and um, highlighters. And again, shiny, glitzy, sparkly, beautiful is the look. 
the halo from the JLo. Yo, baby, we got it. We got your liquid highlighters. So again, these are the products you want to make sure you have and are really featuring. And of course, we always bring you what we know you love, our minis. They're here this month. I don't know about next month. So I would stock up great stocking stuffers, um, great add-ons, and again, our new look of almond. So I know, Ash, you and I were talking earlier. What's one of your favorite things you're doing during the Thanksgiving month about gratitude? So I am a big giver. And so honestly, since it's Thanksgiving time, what I've been doing is um, I've been going in locally and just giving gifts to the people. Like yesterday, I had a huge, I had like 13 packages I had to take to the post office. So I took all the packages and then I took a little care bag and just gave it to them. And what I put in there is instead of a brochure, I just put a thank you card that just thanks them for the service that they provide and for helping me not only receive my packages, but send those out. And then I put a bunch of like goodies in there, some of which are Jaffra samples and stuff like that. But that way it's not so much like, in your face, here's a bunch of Jaffra, but more like, I truly care about what they're doing and to make them feel special. Fab, I love it. And these minis suit that just perfectly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So as again, we look at all things we can do, pick your three, right? Pick your three things that you most can do in looking at your calendar this month and then prepare for next month before the month opens. So how many open houses will you host with hostesses, businesses, with yourself, at your own home, in an office? Write in the chat. What is your goal? Because it really is a shopping event, just like the crap airs and everything that's going on in the world. So mark your calendar and put that in the chat. And again, it is party season. Um, I, I think it was Sarah Hipple who was on... This afternoon, she had a $900 party. Um, I know you're hearing open houses with high sales. I do know Kim Boucher reported she had a party that was over $1,000 in the last couple of weeks. People are shopping and buying. So again, you can take a look at this later, but let's have a little bit of fun. You don't want to say, hi, come to a skincare party anymore. Hi, just come over and, you know, let's just do makeup, um, do a makeup party. They love themes, open houses, shopping events with friends, pop-up partnerships. You heard about that from all of our speakers. But how about holidazzle manis, party pop and petties, holiday glow facials and microdermabrasion treatments. They're going to get those in the salons. So, oh my gosh, they're back out there. So what if you had it with Jaffra? How about a glow and glisten party, a merry makeover? How about a glam and glow body treatment? Shimmering spa session, a spa day event, a scent event. You're the department store. My goodness, when I'm in airports, this is a VEDA. They have complimentary experiences from 20 to 30 minutes sitting in the front of their store. What are you offering for experiences? Whether you're meeting them at Starbucks, they're coming to your home, you're going to their home or office. You need to have a menu on wheels. This is hair and scalp checks. They have a scalp camera. You have a skin camera. You have a makeup camera. They have custom mini facials. So do you. Look at those words and make it sound groovy for the season. They have styling consultations with dry hair and hair products. Oh my gosh, we got to have some fun. We got to get out there. Ashley, you got a favorite one you like? I like the party pop and petties. <laughs> Right, that to go with my talk turkey to me, I feel is just I'm you are it. fun. <laughs> you are having fun. Let's talk turkey, man. Let's have some party popping petties. So, yeah. ladies, have some fun. If you've got something out there, put it in the chat that you're doing. But this is all about experiences. So, I know we shared some success stories. We're gonna end before we go to sweet dreams in the evening with your dream factory. This is your season to remember that every new consultant can earn the Dream Factory this month. When they qualify and they qualify for, their, they start in the levels. If you earned the B bag last month and you have other consultants who didn't QNC, they can still QNC this month with 400. And when that happens, they count towards your Dream Factory. 
Sooner is better because they can earn the Dream Factory gifts too. So go back to your goals. And most importantly, get the jacket as fast as you can. You can't do a reel and motivate your team just like Carol did the VIP watch. The jacket should be on you ASAP, okay? And that is great branding everywhere you go. For those of you with your team, as Carol talked about, helping them, tracking them, inviting them. We have the agenda with everybody with 400 this month. We have our VIP for October and November tracking and anybody VIP, call them and tell them happy birthday and remind them to get their order in because first come first serve of these great gifts that maybe they didn't earn in the past or if they did, they've got another one coming. And anybody whose last order was July or before, when they have 400 this month, they've got a Royal Ginger, we love you royally gift. And leaders, you can earn some too. Remember, it's the final eight weeks as you get ready to go to Hawaii. The more on your team, the more successful you will be. Inspire those who said they wanted to be a leader this year. There's still time. Leaders, you're also tracking to a $500 bonus. So I do a call to action for all of you. Let's be green by 19. Do this faster because you hit Thanksgiving and you hit family, friends, and busy stuff. So I challenge you all to have one QNC and get that jacket ASAP. We celebrate and draw and recognize all the top sellers with 400 or more by the 19th of November. Any leader who already hit her branch requirements for the month, the number of orders goals, and qualify early to leader. So you and how many winners will you influence? Write your goals for sponsoring, write your goals for selling. Even if you're not in the dream factory, build your team and have a team ready for Hawaii during November and December. If your goal is you need nine more this month, you can't say I need nine by the end of the month. Look at your calendar, you have 22 days and you say, today is the eighth. So by the 11th, I'll have number one. By the 13th, I'll have number two. By the 15th, I'll have number three. And in your calendar, write those dates down so that you're just planning to get just one more, then one more, and create your three strategies. If you say nine by the end of the month, it may not happen. It's too big of a goal. So do it three days at a time with maybe three ways you're going to do that, like Becky Launder taught us. Sales are the same. If you want to sell $3,000 in 22 days, set small bite size, 400 by here, 800 by here, 1,200 by here and do the small steps to get to the big goals. Remember to show your consultants, they don't, it's not getting started at 990. They have three things on the table that we're gonna ensure they get, and that's this and the pack and the welcome to Jaffra. So it's not about 990 to join, this is how they really join, it's three steps. And remember the benefits. Start doing reels about this. Start going live on Facebook. Start going on TikTok and Instagram. Start talking about this everywhere or making signs about all of our benefits. These are the stories as to why people are joining direct sales right now. So how many times a day are you telling your story as Becky Launder talked about? Remember what makes Jaffra different is all of these key things alongside our 50%, 11%, three cars, five bonuses, eight titles, Hawaii, you name it. And you know what? To earn the dream factory is a big deal. I don't know a company who gives you that high of a goal and uh, opportunities. So again, remember to talk a little bit more. Show them how to earn income two ways, from their team and their sales, and then how they can save on quality products. Lead with opportunity, end with savings, not start with savings and end with opportunity. When you show them how to do it, it's simple four steps. Use the product, talk about it, share the opportunity, follow up, get loud and proud. You have a fun party, posting calendar. There's so many things. I won't go through all of them because we have to go. But look at it's Friendsgiving month, no shave November, fun little posting ideas or party themes or places to go and get tabletops. Military Appreciation Month with our Half Price Salute You Kit. National Healthy Skin Month. Why not do something skin news every Tuesday? All right, National Entrepreneurship. 
All right. So make that maybe Freedom Friday and you do something about entrepreneurship. You can look at all these fun days that come up starting tomorrow. National Happy Hour, World Kindness, Use Less Stuff Day. That means cleaning out your, your uh, makeup cabinet. So again, <laughs> have some fun. Do some posts, get some themes and go live. They don't want to just see a post, go live. We will be on tour from California to our Zoom party this Saturday, to Maryland, to Massachusetts, to Oregon. Come see our leaders at their beautiful display tables. And you can see the other trainings in green for all of you, and then everything in blue for the leaders. So don't miss a day. Show up, bring your team, and have some fun. Those tours in every city are yours. Most importantly, do not miss this Saturday on Zoom. Vicki Hacking's hosting a live gift drama holidazzle shopping show for you, where guests get a gift from me. We have giveaways and they buy, book, or begin. That's a free party. Just bring people. So, whoops, sorry, we wish you. Let me get my little host here. The happiest of holidays, I'm going to get off screen in November. Make it one you remember. Like I know Ashley will always remember November 1st as a new manager. I say this to each and every one of you. You can do it too. Like Ashley Beard and all of our top success stories tonight. Ashley, our beautiful facilitator, isn't she incredible, everyone? Let's hear it for Ashley. Woo you are beautiful inside and out, brand new leader, really stepped up in the last month. We've seen her everywhere. And here she is as a co-host of her first TV show. You did magnificent. <laughs> So I'm going to turn this to you, beautiful. What's your closing words to each and every one of these beautiful leaders and consultants? Well, first off, thank you so much. Like, I'm so honored that you reached out and allowed me to be here with everybody because that just, it warms my heart in so many ways. And for everybody else, I just, I hope that this helped you. I hope that you were able to take some things away, some different skills away to be able to be be the best version you can be. But most of all, get out and have some fun. It's Thanksgiving, Christmas. Let's go have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. So from all of us at Jaffra, we wish you a very happy November. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. <laughs>